Well, another coyote has been spotted on Hamilton Mountain the second this month. Diana Weeks joins us with more on the latest sighting. And Bob, a resident who lives in this area of Rexford Drive and Rhodes Court, called CHCH News overnight to report that she had in fact seen a, what she calls a very large coyote in this area last night. She says her son ran outside, made loud noises, and it was uh, able to run away. Now, actually right now, I am joined by Bill Dowd with Skedaddle Humane Wildlife Control. Thank you so much for joining us. How common is this to see coyotes? Well, seeing, seeing coyotes in the city isn't very common, though, uh Typically, a, a city the size of Hamilton is probably over 200 coyotes running around the city at various times of the year. And what do people need to know, I mean, in terms of dealing with a coyote if they see it? Do You said don't run. You said you gave some tips on what to do. Right. Obviously, coyotes are the, one of the larger predators that we have in our urban environments. And, and coyotes are in cities across North America. So obviously, you don't want to turn your back and run because they're a predator. They like to hunt or prey. Obviously, look at the animal, walk up very, walk backwards very slowly, make yourself larger than you normally are, uh, clap, make some noise, play some music on your phone, you know, that type of thing. And that should scare the coyote off. And in terms of uh, neighbors in the area with smaller pets and leaving them outside, I know this morning I had seen some cats uh, roaming around here in this neighborhood. What, what do you say to those people? Well, obviously, cats should be kept on your own property. They shouldn't be free roaming because coyotes will attack cats. Same with small dogs. If you're out walking your dog, always have it on a leash. Um, you know, coyotes won't typically go after a larger mammal, but a smaller mammal like a cat or a small dog definitely would be a, uh, a prey for, for an uh, urban coyote. Okay, thank you so much. Bill Dowd there with Skedaddle Humane Wildlife Control joining us this morning on Morning Live. So for now, Bob Nanette, I'm going to send it back to you. Right. Thanks, Diana.